This will be a demonstration of dialing in a four-jaw chuck. And the goal is um, as the chuck rotates, the part and the part rotates, the part will not run out more than one thousandth of an inch. And run out is the same as wobble, so if, if the part runs out like this, it wobbles, a machinist calls that run out. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure that uh, the part is in here. And two jaws are horizontal and two jaws are vertical. And that looks pretty close. The inside of the jaws are a little bit concave, so, so this part kind of settles into the, to the middle of the, vice jaw, or to the chuck jaw. Okay, now I take this in until it just barely touches the part. We don't want to push the part, we just want it to touch. And right there it's just starting to touch. So I rotate it over so now the part sits on that jaw that I just adjusted. And as soon as it quits rocking, then I'll, I'll turn this down so now it's gripped on two sides. Um, this one we just adjusted. This one is adjusted now. Now these, these two jaws are holding that part. And I only make this two finger tight. Um, just want it to be snug enough to hold the piece. Now what I'll do is come in, in this side and come up until a, this jaw just barely touches the part. And it could be that it touches it in front first or in back first and then the part will swivel around. But as soon as it swivels true so that we have good contact all the way along this chuck jaw, then I will stop. So it's, it's rotating that way a little bit. And I feel a change. It's quite rotating. That's as far as I'm going to tighten this jaw right now. Rotate that 180 the other direction. Then I bring this jaw up to the piece. And two finger tight is all it needs. Now this indicator is on a magnet base which is on the cross slide. I'll pull a cross slide back and it engages the part and a couple of turns on the needle and then we'll rotate this and see how far off it is and it's well within a hundred thousandths so for the low reading I'll move the cross slide so that it reads zero okay read zero in the low reading and in the higher reading, it, that reads 36. And so I want to move the cross slide that way, half of 36, which is 18 thousandths. So we'll do that right now. And now I'll rotate it, and it should go 18 thousandths less than zero, which it just did, and 18 thousandths more than zero, which looks like it just did. So zero is now our center target. Next thing I want to do is line, is line up two of the chuck jaws in line with the um, stem of the indicator. And right now they are. And with the indicator pointed clockwise to the right, uh, that means that the needle is pushed on it. So I'll loosen up this, this chuck jaw. Loosens a little bit. Don't need very much. Uh, this is no longer touching it, but these two are holding the part, so I can rotate it around and it goes to less than zero. Again, lining up the chuck jaws. I'll turn this in, tighten it till that reads zero. Okay, bring this back around, and now I can make this jaw in contact with it again. And it is. Okay, now I see which one, okay, this is, of the other two, this is the higher reading one. The lower reading one on the higher reading jaw, I'll loosen that. Not much, but a little bit. And then bring it around to the other one and I tighten that up, bringing the needle to zero. You bring that around this way and I tighten this one in until it reads about zero. And now we should be within just a very few thousandths of an inch of run out. Okay, here's a low reading. I don't need to loosen anything. I'll just tighten this a little bit more. Wherever, wherever it's low, I tighten it just a teeny bit and I just keep working it until as I rotate it around uh, that needle doesn't move very much. None of the jaws are very tight so I just keep working 
until they get tight as well as not running out. And already we're running within one thousandth of an inch of run out. Okay, there's a low spot, so I'll tighten that a little bit more. Okay, there's a low spot here. And I, and I just keep work tightening the jaws because we can't, we have to have the jaws tight, but got to do it now and keep it balanced so that this part doesn't run out as we continue to get it tighter. And it looks like we're within a thousandth of an inch of run out and all of the jaws are now pretty tight, which is our goal. And I know it looked easy when I did it, but I've done this dozens or hundreds of times. And after that much practice, it will be easy for you as well.